hello guys today let's discuss about the sub process in python in my last video we have discussed about sub process dot p open now we will discuss about sub process dot run again this sub process dot run also we can use it for running the external applications or else external scripts or else any particular shell commands that we can you run it using this sub process dot run so how the sub process dot run syntax and what kind of arguments it will take let's see in this video let's take for example one sample script test run dot py okay what this script does is it will take an input string from the user and then it's append it to the hello and it's writes into the output dot txt let's execute that particular file okay now let's say for example you are giving youtube let's see it's like hello youtube and also output.txt also created and we can see that output txt has this hello youtube what happened here we have entered one input string so that means here the manual interaction from the user was happened so that input from user is appended and it is written into the output.txt now using the sub process dot run we will pass this particular string and it will automatically append it to the hello and it's written into the output.txt that process we will see now how it happens it's a p equal to sub process dot run okay and the command that we wanted to execute that we wanted to give it in, in terms of the list how the list contains is as soon as there is a space we have to give comma and again give the command python test iphone underscore run dot py okay and the second argument will be we want to capture its executed output okay now capture output equal to true and we will give text equal to true if you give text equal to true you can pass the input to the external application in terms of the text otherwise it has to be in terms of the bytes what i meant was let's say for example you are passing instagram as the input if you mention text equal to true you can give directly as a string otherwise we should give mention it is like a b bytes okay now let's execute this program see you have mentioned text equal to true but you have mentioned here b symbol so it is saying that type error right argument must be string not the bytes let's remove this and now execute it now see what happened in earlier the output in this output.txt was hello youtube now it is instagram okay now what happens while executing this process some error occurs we can capture it by checking its written code okay written code not equal to zero let's print the std out like p dot std out as well as the error print std error okay so since there are no errors in this particular program it will not print any std out or std error since the p written code will be zero now let's make a small change instead of a test run let's make this like test underscore run one dot py there is no such file exist and we will check what happens we can see here std out there is no output but error is there python cannot open file test underscore run one dot py there is no such file or directory but the program got executed so whenever there is an error occurs and we don't want to go further and we wanted to halt the complete execution of the project what we can do is there is one more parameter called check check equal to true if you make that check equal to true if any error occurs it just stops execution and it will show the error let's now see what happens see the process is ended up with error because there is no such file or directory called test underscore run one dot py so what happens if you open the uh, remove this one and save it and let's execute again so yeah it is executed fine and the output.txt is hello instagram since we are passing instagram as the input string this is how we can use the sub process dot run while executing any external applications or scripts or any external commands okay please like share and subscribe if you like the explanation and also see the content in our channel thank you for watching